Good day, grade 10 learners! This is Teacher Lester, aka Sir Les, and I welcome you all to another fun and meaningful learning. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell for you to be updated of new uploaded videos. For today's video, we will be talking about a lesson under the component of music and discussed in quarter 2, and the title of our lesson is Afro-Latin American and Popular Music. What are we waiting for? Let's get this discussion started. And of course, for us to be well directed, let us consider the following most essential learning competencies. First, you describe the historical and cultural background of Afro-Latin American and popular music. Second, you analyze musical characteristics of Afro-Latin American and popular music through listening activities. And third, explore ways of creating sounds on a variety of sources suitable to chosen vocal and instrumental selections. And to be more specific, these are the points to discuss. Music of Africa Music of Latin America Jazz music Popular music And Philippine popular music To open up the formal discussion, let us define music. What is music? Music is the greatest unifier, an incredible force. Something that people who differ on everything and anything else can have in common. This is according to Sarah Dyson, Just Listen, United States, Viking, 2006. First to discuss is the music of Africa. These are its concepts and definition. Africans consider music as a link of the actual world with that of the spiritual world. Music is indeed a vital part of everyday life in Africa. African music is one of the most influential styles of music in the world. It has greatly influenced the music of contemporary America, Latin America, and European music. Its highly energetic and rhythmically changing beats are quite universal. Jazz, gospel and spiritual, and R&B are genres of music that have deep roots to African music. The music of Africa is the product of the diverse history, topography, and unique musical heritage of more than 50 countries. It is the result of the fusion of traditional and European influences which was a result of the colonization of Europe to the majority of the continent until the 19th century. Let us discover different types of indigenous music and instruments and observe their distinct characteristics and styles. Traditional Music of Africa African traditional music is mainly functional in nature which is used primarily in ceremonial rites such as birth, death, marriage, succession, worship, and spirit invocations. Others are work-related or social in nature, while many traditional societies view their music as a form of entertainment. Here are some types of African music. Number 1. Afrobeat it is a term used to describe the fusion of West African with Black American music. Second, Apala, or also known as Akpala. It is a musical genre from Nigeria in the Yoruba tribal style to wake up the worshippers after fasting during the Muslim holy fest of Ramadan. Third, Axe. It is a popular musical genre from Salvador. Bahia, and Brazil. It fuses the Afro-Caribbean styles of marcha, reggae, and calypso. Fourth is Jit. It is a hard and fast percussive Zimbabwean dance music played on drums with guitar accompaniment influenced by Mbira-based guitar styles. Fifth is the Jive. It is a popular form of South African music featuring a lively and inhibited variation of the jitterbag, a form of swing dance. Six is the juju. 
it is a popular music style from Nigeria that relies on the traditional Yoruba rhythms. A drum kit, keyboard, pedal steel guitar, and accordion are used along with the traditional dundun or talking drum or squeeze drum. Seventh is the kwasa kwasa. It is a music style that began in Zaire in the late 1980s, popularized by Kanda Bongoman. In this style or dance style, the hips move back and forth while the arms move following the hips. And number eight, Marabi, is a South African three chord township music of the 1930s to 1960s, which evolved into African jazz. Now, Let's proceed to the vocal forms of African music. First is Marakatu. It is the combination of strong rhythms of African percussion instruments and Portuguese melodies. This form of music is being paraded along the streets by up to 100 participants. Second, Blues. It is one of the most widely performed musical forms of the late 19th century. The melodies of blues are expressive and soulful. The slaves and their descendants used to sing this as they work in the fields. Third, soul. It is a popular music genre of the 1950s and 1960s, which originated in the African-American community throughout the United States. Fourth, is spiritual. It originated in the United States and created by African-American slaves. It is also known as Negro Espiritual. It became a means of imparting Christians' values and a way of venting their hardships as slaves. Fifth is Call and Response. It is likened to a question and answer sequence in human communication. The slaves used to sing these songs while simultaneously doing all their tasks in a day. Aside from vocal music, of course, Africans do have musical instruments. This is Musical Instruments of Africa. African music has a wide range of genres. It includes all the major instrumental genres of Western music including strings, winds, and percussion, along with a tremendous variety of specific African musical instruments for solo or ensemble playing. Get ready to learn their most popular instruments. Did you know that there are five classifications of traditional African instruments? These are idiophones, membranophones, lamellophone, cordophones, and earphones. Idiophones. In an idiophone instrument, sound is produced by the body of the instrument vibrating. There are five examples of African idiophone instruments. First is a gogo. -go. It is a single bell or multiple bells and is considered as the oldest samba instrument. Second is shakere, which is a type of guard and shell megaphone from West Africa. Third is slit or log drum. It is a hollow percussion instrument. Fourth is a ting ting con, or also known as a slit gong, is a hollowed cylinder of wood with a narrow longitudinal opening. Fifth is balaphone. It is a kind of wooden xylophone or percussion idiophone which plays melodic tunes. Now let's proceed to membranophones. Membranophone instrument sound is produced by the vibration of a tightly stretched membrane. There are three examples of membranophone instruments by the Africans. First is body percussion. It refers to African music using their bodies as instruments. Second is talking drum. It is used to send messages to announce births, deaths, marriages, sporting events, dances, initiations, or war. And the third one is djembe. It is shaped like a large goblet and played with bare hands. Third classification of African instrument is the lamellophone. Sound is produced by the vibration of tongues of metal, wood, or other material. There are two examples of lamellophone instrument. 
First is Ambira, or also known as Kalimba or Thumb Piano. It is a set of plaques, tines, or keys mounted on a soundboard. Second one is the Ari Ambira. It is a handcrafted instrument with a unique harp or bell like sound. Fourth classification is the Chordophone family. Sound is produced by the vibration of a string or strings that are stretched between fixed points. There are two examples of Chordophone African instrument. These are the musical bow and zeze. First to discuss is the musical bow. The musical bow is the ancestor of all string instruments, while zeze is an African fiddle played with a bow and small wooden stick or plucked with the fingers. Last classification of African instrument is the aerophone. Aerophone sound is produced through the vibration of air. There are two examples of aerophone instrument by the Africans. First is Fulani. It is a type of flute which is widely used throughout Africa and either vertical or side blown. And second is Kudu horn or it is made from the horn of the Kudu antelope. Next topic, I present to you the music of Latin America. Concept and definition. African music connects people together making their community more united, strengthened, and supportive toward each other. Their music has also reached different parts of the globe. A lot of Africans were transported to Latin America for work and brought their music with them. The music of Latin America is the product of three major influences. These are indigenous, Spanish Portuguese, and African. Sometimes called Latin music, it includes the countries that have a colonial history from Spain and Portugal, divided into the following areas of Andean region, Central America, Caribbean, and Brazil. These are the influences on Latin American music. First, indigenous Latin American music. The natives were found to be using local drum and percussion instruments. The indigenous music of Latin America was largely functional in nature, being used for religious worships and ceremonies. Second is the Native American or Indian music. The ethnic and cultural groups of the principal Native Americans share many similar yet distinctive musical elements. Songs had a wide range of volume levels. Songs celebrate themes like harvest, planting season, or other important events or occasions of the year. Third is the Afro-Latin American music. The African influence on Latin American music is most pronounced in its rich and varied rhythmic patterns produced by drums and various percussion instruments. Fourth is Euro-Latin American music. The different regions of Latin America adopted various characteristics from their European colonizers. Melodies of the Renaissance period were used in southern Chile and the Colombian Pacific coasts. Fifth is the mixed American music. The result of the massive infusion of African culture also brought about the introduction of other music and dance forms such as the Afro-Cuban rumba. Jamaican Reggae, Colombian Cumbia, and the Brazilian Samba. Rooted from those influences, these are now the popular Latin American music. First, Samba. It is a dance form of African origins around 1838 which evolved into an African-Brazilian invention in the working class and Islam districts of Rio de Janeiro. Second is Sun. It is a fusion of the popular music or canciones or songs of Spain and the African rumba rhythms of Bantu origin. Originating in Cuba, it is usually played with the guitar, contrabass, bongos, maracas, and claves. Third one is salsa. It is a social dance with marked influences from Cuba and Puerto Rico that started in New York in the mid-1970s. 
if African Instruments has five classifications, well, Latin America has four. These are Aztec and Mayan Instruments, Incan Instruments, Andean Instruments, and Mariachi. Aztec and Mayan Instruments has five examples. Aztec and Mayan people are people who live in Southern Mexico and Northern Central America Central. First is the Tilapitzali. It is a flute variety from the Aztec culture made of clay with decorations of abstract designs or images of their deities. Second is the Teponazli. It is a Mexican drum or a slate drum hollowed out and carved from a piece of hardwood with designs presenting human figures or animal figures to be used to both religious and recreational purposes. The third one is conch. It is a wind instrument made from a seashell, usually of a large sea snail. The fourth one is rasp. It is a hand percussion instrument whose sound is produced by scraping a group of notch stick with another stick, creating a series of rattling effects. And the fifth one is Huey Huey It is a Mexican upright tubular drum used by the Aztecs and other ancient civilizations. Second classification is the Incan instrument. These are instruments that were being played during the civilization of Inca between 1400 and 1533 in pre-Columbian America, which was centered in what is now Peru. First is Ocarina. It is an ancient vessel flute made of clay or ceramic with four to five finger holes and a mouthpiece that projected from the body. Second is the samponas or pan pipes. These are ancient instruments turned to different scalar varieties played by blowing across the tube top. So how about the Andean instruments? This civilization is considered indigenous and not derived from other civilizations mainly because they became from the river valleys of the coastal deserts of Peru. First example of instrument under this is Siku. It is a side-blown cane flute that is played all year round. Second is Tarkas. These are vertical duct flutes with a mouthpiece similar to that of a recorder used during the rainy season. Third are Quenas. These are vertical cane flutes with an end notch made from fragile bamboo. They are used during the dry season. The fourth and last classification of Latin American instrument is the mariachi. It is an extremely popular band in Mexico whose original ensemble consisted of violins, guitars, harp, and an enormous guitaron. Mariachi music is extremely passionate and romantic with their blended harmonies and characterized by catchy rhythms. And these are the vocal and dance forms of Latin America. First is cumbia. It is a popular African courtship dance with European and African instrumentation and characteristics originating in Panama and Colombia. Second is tango. It is a foremost Argentinian and Uruguayan urban popular song and dance and remains a 20th century nationalistic Argentinian piece of music that is most expressive. Third is cha-cha. It is a ballroom dance originated in Cuba in 1953 that was derived from the mambo. Fourth one is rumba. It is a popular recreational dance with Afro-Cuban origin. It is normally used as a ballroom dance where a couple would be in an embrace, though slightly apart, with the rocking of the hips to a fast, fast, slow sequence. The fifth one is Bossa Nova. It is the slower and gentler version of the Cuban Samba, originated in the 1950s. It is the Portuguese term for new trend. Sixth is the Reggae. It is an urban popular music and dance style that originated in Jamaica in the mid-1960s. Seventh is the Foxtrot. It is a 20th century social dance that originated after 1910 in the USA. 
Eighth is Paso Doble. It is a theatrical Spanish dance used by the Spaniards in bullfights, which means double step. After exploring about African and Latin American music, we'll now proceed to the next one, which is jazz. Here are its concept and definition. The arrival of the jazz music was an offshoot of the music of African slaves who migrated to America. Jazz music is an American music developed especially from the ragtime and blues, which originated in the African American community. These are the characteristics of jazz music. First, syncopated rhythms or making part of music offbeat. Jazz musicians like to emphasize the notes that they play on the upbeats. Syncopation may be affected by affecting normally weak beats in a measure, by resting on a normal accented beat, or by tying over a note to the next measure. Second is polyphonic, producing many sounds simultaneously. And the third one is improvisation, creative activity of immediate musical composition, or the distortion of pitch and timbre, often utilize complex sounds. And how about different forms of jazz? The first one is ragtime, an American popular musical style mainly for piano, originating in the Afro-American communities in St. Louis and New Orleans. Second is the big band, refers to a large ensemble form originating in the United States in the mid-1920s closely associated with the swing era with jazz elements relying heavily on percussion, wind, rhythm section, and brass instruments with a lyrical string section to accompany a lyrical melody. The third one is the bebop, a musical style of modern jazz which is characterized by a fast tempo, instrumental virtuosity, and improvisation that emerged during World War II. The fourth one is jazz rock. It is a mix of funk and R&B which stands for rhythm and blues where the music used amplification and electronic effects, complex time signatures, and extended instrumental compositions with lengthy improvisation in jazz style. Aside from jazz, we also have popular music. Popular music literally means music of the populace, which is similar to traditional folk music of the past. As it developed in the 20th century, Pop music generally consists of music for entertainment of a larger number of people, whether on radio or in live performances. Let's review the different genres of popular music or pop music in short. First is ballad. Second is standard. Third is rock and roll. Fourth is disco. Fifth is pop music. And sixth is hip hop and rap. Let us know more about ballads. Ballads originated as an excessive folk song in narrative verse dealing typically about love. The word is derived from both medieval French chanson ballady and ballad, which refers to a dancing song. These are the different types of ballads. First is blues ballads. A fusion of Anglo-American and Afro-American styles from the 19th century that deals with the anti-heroes resisting authority. The form emphasizes the character of the performer more than the narrative content and uses a banjo or a guitar as accompaniment. Second type of ballad is the pop standard and jazz ballad, a blues style built from a single verse of 16 bars ending on the dominant or half cadence followed by a refrain or chorus part of 16 or 32 bars in AABA form. The B section acts as the bridge and the piece normally ends with a brief coda. Third type of ballad is the pop and rock ballad, an emotional love song with suggestions of folk music. This style is sometimes applied to strophic or verse repeating story songs. Here are the prominent composers of pop standard and jazz ballads. 
First is George Gershwin and he was popular on his composition The Man I Love. Second is Irving Berlin and he was popular on his song Always and uh, Duke Ellington who is popular on his In a Sentimental Mood. Another popular music is the standards. In music, the term standard is used to denote the most popular and enduring songs from a particular genre or style. Its style is mostly in a slow or moderate tempo with a relaxed mood. It features highly singable melodies within the range and technical capacities of listeners. Three foremost proponents of standards are Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, and Matt Monroe. Frank Sinatra's genre was categorized as traditional pop and jazz. He was a successful singer, actor, producer, director, and conductor. His hit singles include My Way and Strangers in the Night. Nat King Cole owes most of his popular music fame to his soothing baritone voice. His famous hits include L.O.V.E. and Unforgettable. And Matt Monroe was an English singer who became one of the most popular entertainers in the international music scene during the 1960s. His hit singles include Portrait of My Love and Born Free. Third popular music is rock and roll. Rock and roll is the combination of Afro-American forms such as the blues, jump blues, jazz, and gospel music with the western swing and country music. The lead instruments were the piano and saxophone and were eventually replaced by modern instruments. This form came during the age with electric guitars, were supplemented by amplifiers and microphones to raise the volume. Its name is derived from the motion of a ship on the ocean. Rock and roll! Two greatest proponents of rock and roll in the whole world are Elvis Presley and the Beatles. Elvis Presley's songs such as Heartbreak Hotel and Blue Suede Shoes were complemented by his good looks and elaborate movements that included hugging the microphone as he sang. While the Beatles' compositions further boosted rock and roll as the favorite genre of the times. Examples of the Beatles songs in this genre are I Saw Her Standing There, Get Back, and While My Guitar Gently Whips. Another form of pop music known as disco rose in 70s. This type of music pertained to rock music that was more danceable, thus leading to the establishment of venues for public dancing, also called discos. The term originated from the French word discotheque, which means a library for phonograph records. Here are the famous figures of disco. We have the ABBA who sang Dancing Queen, the Bee Gees who sang Staying Alive, Donna Summer who is known as the Queen of Disco who sang Hot Stuff, and Gloria Gaynor who sang I Will Survive. Another genre of popular music is also called as pop music. Parallel with the disco era, other pop music superstars continued to emerge. Among them were Diana Rose and the Supremes, who sang Stop in the Name of Love, Olivia Newton-John, who sang Hopelessly Devoted to You, Elton John, who sang Skyline Pigeon, and the Carpenters, who sang We've Only Just Begun. Pop superstars in more recent years were Celine Dion, who sang My Heart Will Go On, Whitney Houston, who sang I Will Always Love You, Mariah Carey, who sang Hero, Beyonce, who sang Listen, Lady Gaga, who sang Bad Romance, and Bruno Mars, who sang Just The Way You Are, and many more. Aside from them, these are other popular singers. We have Michael Jackson, or also known as the King of Pop the most popular solo performer of all time. He was an American recording artist, entertainer, singer-songwriter, recorder-producer, musical arranger, dancer, choreographer, actor, businessman, and philanthropist. Jackson's 1982 album, Thriller, remains the world's best-selling album of all time, and four of his other solo studio albums are among the world's best-selling records. Off the Wall, 1979, Bad, 1987, 
Dangerous 1991 and History 1995. Today's pop music idols include music groups like Black Eyed Peas, K-pop, My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boys, The Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Soja Boy, Train, Maroon 5, and One Direction. And solo performers include Adele, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Selena Gomez, and others. Last type of popular music is the hip hop and rap. Hip hop is a stylized, highly rhythmic type of music that usually includes portions of rhythmically chanted words called rap. Rap is characterized by the artist speaking along with an instrumental or synthesized beat. It has evolved into a subculture that encompasses music like rapping, DJing, scratching, and beatboxing. Among the early hip hop artists were LL Cool J and Run DMC. While recent popular names include Beastie Boys, Eminem, and Kanye West. Last topic for today, which you are very familiar with, is the Philippine pop music. Concepts and definition. Pop music in the Philippines started as an adaptation or translation, if not complete imitation, of Western hits. It is started with Bobby Gonzalez, Ha Habol Habol, Hot Pursuit and local version of the rock and rolls of the 1950s and Rico Puno's Luneta, a local adaptation of The Way We Were. This immediately clicked the youth and eventually gained with acceptance even among the burgess or bourgeoisie or elite crowd. There are different types of Philippine pop music. First is OPM, second is Philippine jazz, third is Philippine rock, Fourth is Philippine alternative folk music, and fifth is Pinoy rap. Let's first discuss about OPM. The acronym OPM stands for Original Pinoy Music, which is a genre under contemporary Philippine music. It was originally used to refer to Philippine pop songs, particularly ballads such as those popular after the collapse of its predecessor, the Manila Sound. In the late 1970s until the present, OPM started in Manila where Tagalog and English are the dominant languages for its texts. However, other ethno-linguistic groups such as the Visayan, Bicol, Kapampangan, and Ilocano also began to sing and record their songs in their native dialects. Here are the greatest proponents of OPM. In 1960s to 1970s, we have Nora Honor, Pilita Corales, Eddie Peregrina, Victor Wood, Asin, Apo Hiking Society, and others were highly popular OPM singers. In 1970s to 1980s, we have the major commercial Philippine pop music artists. These include Claire De La Fuente, Didi Reyes, Rico Puno, Ryan Cayabyab, Basil Valdez, Celeste Legaspi, Haji Alejandro, Ray Valera, Fede Aguilar, Emil De Papin, Eva Eugenio, Nonoy Zuniga, and many more. From 1980s to 1990s, this is regarded as the golden era of the Philippine ballads. Among the classics that emerged were those created by Ryan Kayabyab, Kay Ganda ng Ating Musika, by George Conceso, Castilyong Buhangin, by Willie Cruz, Bituing Walang Ningning, Jose Marie Chan, Please Be Careful With My Heart, Gary Valenciano and Regine, who sang Sana Maulit Muli. And from 1990s to present, the famous solo artists and bands included the Eraserheads, Smoky Mountain, Donna Cruz, Ariel Rivera, South Border, After Image, Andrew E., Jaya, River Maya, and Parokya ni Edgar. More recently, OPM stars also included Yen Constantino, Sara Jeronimo, Aisa Siguera, Eric Santos, Christian Bautista, Morissette Amon, Apel Yago, and international singers Arnold Rivera and Charis Pempenko, who changed her name to Jake Cyrus. Now let's proceed to Philippine jazz. Philippine musicians have also been inspired by jazz music. 
Among them are jazz pianist and recording artist Boy Katindig, who comes from the well-known clan of musicians that includes jazz piano legend Romy Katindig and saxophonist Eddie Katindig. The Katindig family pioneered Latin jazz in Manila. Other notable Filipino jazz musicians include Lito Molina, Angel Peña, Emil Mijares, and internationally known jazz pianist Bobby Enriquez. Next type of OPM is the Philippine Rock. The year 1973 saw the birth of Philippine or Pinoy Rock music which successfully merged the rock beat with Filipino lyrics. This new sound was introduced by the legendary Juan de la Cruz band with their song Ang Himig Natin. Continuing this legacy of Pinoy Rock today are vocal groups and bands that include River Maya, The Dawn, Truth Fate, The Eraserheads, Wolfgang, Bamboo, Parokini Edgar, Hale, Sandwich, Sugar Free, Sponge Cola, and others. Next type is the Philippine Alternative Folk Music. The Philippines also saw the rise of alternative folk music which was different from the traditional and popular form. This new form combined ethnic instrumentation with electronic accompaniment while presenting themes or issues of society and the environment. Some of the Filipino composers who championed this style were Joey Ayala, Grace Nono, and Edru Abraham. Among other Filipino composers whose styles range from folk to semi-ethnic were Freddy Aguilar in his Anak, Yoyoy Villame in his Magellan, and Florante in his Akoy Isang Pinoy. Next OPM is the Pinoy Rap. In the Philippines, rap was also made popular by such composers and performers as Francis Magalona, Mga Kababayan Ko, Watawat, and Andrew E. Humanap Ka ng Pangit. Francis Magalona is also known as Francis M., Master Rapper, and the Man from Manila. He was a Filipino rapper, songwriter, producer, actor, director, television host, and photographer. He is often hailed as the king of Pinoy rap and is considered a legend in the Philippine music community. Magalona was the first Filipino rapper to cross over to the mainstream. And that's the last topic to discuss. I hope that you have learned a lot from the music of Africa to the music of Latin America to jazz music, to popular music, and to Philippine popular music. That's all for today class. If you have questions, just feel free to comment down below. Is everything clear to you? I hope so. This is your performance task. You may work on your own, with a partner, or with other family members. Make not more than 2 minute music video showing your singing, dancing, acting prowess, or any field of interest like playing instrument or fitness activities. Choose one only. Afro Latin American or any modern music discussed should be used as a background music. You can also choose jazz if you want to. At the end of the video, you should indicate the title of the music or modern music used and your role. Submit your output on the Google Classroom. Thank you so much learners. I hope that you have enjoyed the discussion for today. Again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated of new uploaded video. This has been Sir Lester saying, let's dream and make it happen. See you all on my next video. Goodbye!